Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm so happy today. There is so much happening in my garden, finally. I feel like it stays cold in Minnesota for so long and we wait a really long time for stuff and I don't start my stuff indoors yet anyways. Maybe I will someday. But as of right now, I have so much beautiful stuff growing and veggies and flowers and I cannot wait to show you guys what is coming. So a quick update, if you guys saw my little kid activities for summer video, look, I've got some hair growing in my little grass. Um, beautician barbershop plant head <laughs> holy guacamole that grew really fast in this video I'm just going to be sharing a lot of little updates in my garden but I am also going to be having another garden video well it'll be kind of like an everything outdoorsy there's a lot to come is what I'm saying but I'm gonna do like a slow living type of vlog where I'm not so chatty and I just kind of do things and you know go in my garden and cook things so if you guys want to see that video it'll be coming up soon and there's going to be a lot of gardening stuff in that one as well and just i don't know some more calm and relaxing footage whoops <laughs> so, enough with the jabbering let's get on to the garden updates doing man stuff over here. Until the beetles run, old foe, seep it through a jukebox, needle, and a scarly poo. A cardi poo. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's right. The seeds that I'm planting today, I have never seen these kind before. Zinnia that creep. Have you guys ever heard of creeping zinnia? They are supposed to look great over containers, and I'm really excited to try these because zinnias are usually really easy to grow. So I'm going to try putting some in the ground them in pots and just see if any of them work and then when we first moved into this old house we used to have these in our front garden before we landscaped and I loved them they were so cool very cottage vibe flowers and they're so tall and they really do look black so I love these and I'm going to put these back here in my flower patch um vines no nope. <gasps> green beans those aren't green beans, what are they? Hmm. Sugar snap peas. Should we pick some? Yeah. Let's pick them. I've decided I'm going to make a little area for our cardinals that are living in our little baby lilac tree next to our deck. And I found this old tomato cage I had laying around and this bowl that I actually used as a candle holder last fall and it seems like it fits pretty good and sturdy on here. So I don't know if I'm gonna try adding some glue to it. I might do that, but I'm going to plant something, probably that vines in the bottom, and then fill it with water and put it underneath the little tree so they can have a little bath and a drinking spot. And I heard that cardinals like red, so that's why I also picked that. And then I got two of these garden hooks and I'm going to hang a bird feeder and one for the cardinals and I got them some seed. It's got these little pokies for the ground. And then I also have another bird feeder from my mom that she got me for my birthday, which is for hummingbirds. So I'm gonna put that on the other one of those. I've got them all filled up. This is just some mix that I bought at Walmart and it said cardinals like it. It's a mealworm mix. And there's also like black sunflowers in there and a bunch of other stuff. And then this has uh, I made this. The hummingbird food is just a fourth cup of sugar melted into one cup of water. So you just have to boil a little water on the stove and make sure you don't put it in there when it's hot. I hope that the cardinals are happy. 
and the hummingbirds. I hope they use it. I'm so excited. Hi, Scarlett. Now when I'm sitting out here on the deck, I can hopefully witness some really cute stuff. I gotta put all my deck cushions back on because whenever I turn the sprinkler on back there, then my deck gets wet. I picked up the cutest looking little country flowers. Don't they look like a little cottage flower? They're so dainty and adorable. And they're a perennial, I guess, so they'll hopefully be coming back every year. And I just love them so much. I hope that I get a whole bunch more and they just keep getting bigger. This is what they're called if you guys are interested in picking these up. I love them. I've never seen these before. And I love the color of these ones. Some of them had more of a golden yellow color and I love that these ones were just like a very dainty light yellow. Oh my gosh, you guys, I've never seen this color butterfly before like out in nature, just like in my yard. That's so cool. I have to share some landscaping updates with you guys. So these stone steps that my husband built, he just took them all out. They've been there now for probably, I don't know, six years or something. Um, but the weeds were coming in so badly around them and they were big weeds and they're like impossible to pull out. So he just took all of the stone steps back out and put a really thick plastic down and then put them back in. It was a lot of work. He used a bobcat for that and then he built some more natural stone steps. This <laughs> massive pile of dirt and weeds is going to be moved soon. But the other stone steps are over here. So we wanted to have some that went down the same direction as our deck steps. So now we'll be able to just go straight down here and then back to our back patio and our pub shed. And we're going to probably have some type of stepping stones back here. The yard is a complete mess right now, but when it's all done, it's going to be so beautiful because the grass is going to go all the way around here and there's my little garden area for now anyways. And yeah, we'll have two different areas for steps there. So this one will be over in the center and that is probably where we'll do like a lot of, you know, like backyard games and stuff like that. And soon all of this is also going to have grass. We are also going to be having something there for the deck because we're going to just be using that space to hide like some of our gardening tools and um, trailers or whatever, you know, for the lawnmower. So we're going to have some kind of, I don't know, lattice. We want to do something that looks kind of modern there. So right now it's a mess, but watering our grass. Got to keep it green. It's been really hot lately. Bigger than this. How did they get big so fast? They're almost bigger than the trees. Wow, they're beautiful. They're pokey. Yeah, they are pretty pokey. These are beautiful. And then we have some red ones opening up. Mm. Oof, not. Any ants on that? Yes, I can scare the ants. I'm scared. I don't see any. How cute is this little welcome sign I found at Family Dollar for five bucks? I love it. It looks so perfect there. I knew I needed something for this side. A few years ago I had made this cute little fairy cottage in a terracotta tray and I had live plants and it was just precious but I forgot I had these cute little pieces from it so I'm just gonna set them out here in my clover. It will look so cute and I still have all of my little mushies hiding in there but I also would like to set out a little make a toad home. So that is on my summer plan list for my garden. I want to catch some toads and I want to make a toad home and put them inside.
I love it so much. It's so cute. And I decided to make a little toad home out of one of these little square planters and hide it back here and kind of just surround it by weeds or clovers, I should say. Also, toads could totally hide inside of those little bricks. So now I need to catch some toads. If I was a toad, I would totally live here. Totally. <laughs> Look how perfect these toad homes could be, you guys. It's perfection. It's like a toad mansion. So it is the Friday before 4th of July. I got all fancy today and then I came out here and I was just gonna water the garden and I just started weeding the garden. But you guys, I'm so excited because in the weeds are new flowers growing and let me show you what I found so far. I thought that these were going to be a weed but I guess they are bachelor button and I didn't even know and there's a whole bunch more growing right over there. My first baby's breath over there surrounded by big beautiful zinnias and lots of weeds. Some of my zinnias are starting to bud. A whole bunch of marigold buds as well. So many morning glory vines and they're getting so long but I am too short to get this piece up there, so I'm gonna have to go get a little grabby claw. Yes! Sorry I can't videotape this. <laughs> as well. What we've got growing now. My son is going to be so excited because these are his favorite thing to eat in the garden and we are going to have lots of green beans this year. The size of this kale. I'm about to make some snacks with that. Look at my cucumber vines. They're getting so big and they are totally ready to reach on to the big trellis. I had to put these here, at least for now, so they weren't just sitting in the dirt. And look at my tomato plants. I just had my daughter take a picture of me to show you how tall these are, but they are huge and I have so many tomatoes growing. I could not resist. I planted more seeds. Big surprise. These are all going to be wildflowers and I just planted them all the way on two sides of this because I thought it would look so cute just to cover the outer edge of this. And I still never put this fake grass away. Just, it's fine you guys. I'm, I'm living with it now. <laughs> it's nice to step on it. And these are also wildflowers around this little area. I'm having struggles keeping stuff growing in my little rock garden there. I've got a few things growing, but I think it just gets way too hot there because I've also got wildflowers over here and everything seems to grow here, but not in there. And something made a hole over here. What could it be?
who'd like to see me plant these beautiful flowers behind me that will be in my slow living type of vlog coming up too so don't make sure or make sure not to miss that one that is all for today's little garden update vlog i hope that you guys enjoyed it and i'm so glad you're here make sure you like this video it really helps my channel out and subscribe if you haven't already hello if you're new here and i hope to see you in the next video bye happy fourth of july